Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. For those of you guys returning, welcome back. For those of you guys new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Let's get into your reading, Taurus. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of April 2022. We're going to do it a little bit different. We're going to freehand this. Of course, you guys always know that I shuffle my cards in front of the videos uh, as I don't like anything planned or I prefer nothing planned. Um, but we're going to still take it a little bit further and we are going to do an open hand. So let's get into your reading, Taurus. Hope you guys are doing amazing. Hope you guys are excited for spring. It is the beginning of a new month. A new chapter, a new opportunity. So let's make the most of it. All right. Spirit guide, ancestors, and archangels. What are the messages for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what's going on with you, Taurus. What can we expect for this month? April 2022, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. Here we go, Taurus. Let's get into it. All right, your first card here is the Four of Swords. So there could have been some type of detachment. This could be you uh, being a little bit more secluded. For some of you guys, there could have been some distancing between you and someone in particular that you may be dealing with. For others of you, there is a moment in time where you need to pause. You need to hit that stop button. You need to smell the roses. There is something that Spirit is trying to communicate here. And there's almost like a need for... Uh, I'm actively seeing like someone shake you, right? Uh, kind of like when a person is uh, overwhelmed, right? And you start freaking out and there's like this uh, someone next to you that gives you that little shake, like relax, calm down. Uh, so you may be cr currently going through something like that or a similar feeling of crisis mode. Um, but this has more to do with your mind, Taurus. Now the next card here is the Empress card. And the Empress card is all about embracing embracing and knowing the worth that you bring to people's life Taurus um, it's almost like what I'm what I'm hearing here is there was a moment in time where you secluded yourself whether it was because of situations whether it was because you were dealing with a partner that little by little started to pull you away from your family or friends or perhaps uh, even completely, you know, non-existent social life. Um, and with the Empress card here, the Empress is the complete opposite. It is all about giving love or sharing love to the world and to those around you. Uh, so there is definitely a bit of a contrast energy here. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're being nurtured, you're being loved, or you're being appreciated or people are trying to give that type of uh, emotional support. Um, it can also indicate having the need to uh, come to terms with something in your life that you're currently going through where there is the desire or want for expansion and growth, but there's also fear. Fear to the point that it kind of freezes you in time and you're not able to really react or even take opportunities because you're so much in your head or you're so much doubting what you're capable of doing, Taurus. Whether it's people around you, um, or whether it's a partner, or whether it's you know your coworkers, your boss, uh, that has a tendency of kind of like uh, quieting your voice, or whenever you try to speak up, um, they quickly try to criticize or critique. What they're telling you here, it's about really knowing your power. N knowing your power, not only that, but standing in your power. This is about being unapologetically who you are and who you were meant to be, Taurus. So what I'm hearing for this month of April, it's going to be very important to embrace every single aspect of your life, even those things about you that you feel you're ashamed of or you feel that makes you very different from others or those around you. It can also indicate having these this feeling of this complex issue of comparing yourself or your life to uh, someone that is particularly very close to you. It can mean, what I'm sensing here is there is a loving connection between you and someone, but there is often either competition or the feeling that this person has a tendency of like, uh, as an example, you have good news to share. They're always wanting to one-up you. Um, you know, oh, I recently bought some shoes. Oh, really? Well, I recently bought some $500 shoes, that type of thing. 
And I feel like it's in very much connection with family as we do have the four of wands here. So again, we go back to that of knowing who you are and what you're capable of doing, even those things that make you very different from this person or the person that you may be dealing in your life. It doesn't make you any less or it doesn't make you any um it doesn't make you any less or it doesn't make you any any much more different than if that person was to truly embrace who they are because it's almost like there is a mask that they're holding uh trying to share or trying to shine the light on only the good aspects about themselves so for this month it's going to be important and crucial for you to maintain your confidence and trust and believe in yourself taurus and not to allow any outside interference or outside energy to affect how you feel about yourself. Now, the next card here is the Nine of Pentacles. So there is definitely major transformation when we're talking about finances and career. For some of you guys, you probably struggled for a while. Perhaps it was difficult for you to stand your footing or find your footing. Um, and now all of a sudden you're getting opportunities that are helping you not only financially stable your life or to become much more financially stable, but also opportunities that are bringing not only, you know, finances or growth in finances, but it's also giving you a lot of living experiences. This could be travel. This could be being around different people from different walks of life, etc. There's definitely a transformation here and you're definitely stepping up. You're leveling up, Taurus. Um, but again, like I said, it is going to be very important and crucial not to allow other people to shake you. You need to be more in control uh, in the power of yourself and believing who you are and what you're capable of doing. Don't rely on other people or whatever other people have to say about you to be a direct or to directly impact how you view yourself. At the end of the day, it comes down to what we believe, whatever anyone else has to say about ourselves, whether we make them uncomfortable, whether we challenge them, whatever the situation is, it is not our duty to sit there and make sure that they're okay with us being our true authentic self. That's not your problem. It is about you living your best life and being honest and truthful about who you are and what you're capable of doing with no, no whatsoever, um, What's the word I'm looking for? With no apologies for being who you are. Being apologetic uh, in yourself and who you are, Taurus. I want to wish you guys the very best. I hope that this gives you insight and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.